Look at this ship. This is an ocean going vessel. Holy buckets. I need an anchor just like that. Forget the fact that it probably weighs more than this boat, but that's the kind of anchor I want. Look at these beasts.
I want to be on one of those when the apocalypse happens. Look at this one's a catamaran. Meanwhile, on the other side of the river, This is what a shanty boat would be like if it was Waterworld. This is must be what the back side of them look like. It looks like a different design, but wow. All lining up. The distribution system for material goods in this country just becomes so much more clear when you do a trip like this. Okay, so I'm cutting over to the Dog River, which means I have to turn the boat sideways to the waves and to the wind. Um, <laughs> now, at the beginning of this trip, I would it would be freaking me out, but in two and a half months, I've learned what this boat is capable of. It's so, which is you know a lot, and even though it's throwing stuff around here and there. I've had to put some stuff off the shelves and stuff like that. It's still safe. So it is raining a little bit, but it's trying to clear up. Let's see here. It's having to go against the waves. That's just where it came from right there, that industrial area at the top of Mobile Bay. And we're heading for the Dog River. Hi, guys. So I'm going to take off on the scooter and I'm gonna try to get home to Michigan for Christmas. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. I parked the shanty at a little marina on the Dog River, which is on the west side of Mobile Bay. 150 bucks, which I think is a screaming deal. And I'm putting my sleeping bag and tent some clothes. The beagle's going to ride in my jacket. And we're going to take off. <clears throat> I'm probably going to try to find a car along the way. That's a good deal. Rust-free. If I can get a good rust, good running rust-free car up in Michigan, it usually is worth more. I've done this several times where I've been able to at least pay for my trip and sometimes even make a few bucks on them. So I got a couple... Uh, couple on Craigslist I'm going to take a look at so 
I'm going to leave in the morning. And my goal and my schedule is to try to be home by Christmas Eve. So today's, I think, December 10th. I've got like 15 days to do it. So I will take some footage and I'll check in with you guys. I got one more video to post of coming into Mobile Bay with some really cool scenery I think everyone's going to love. So I will catch you guys soon.